Hey guys, John here. Um, I just recently, tonight actually, got a a message, a uh, question, and it was a question that I that I was really happy to get because I I get I do get to ask this frequently, but I haven't done a video on it yet. I have kind of mentioned my beliefs on this topic, but um, I wanted to go ahead and and do this video uh, to explain. Uh, my, my thoughts on this question was, she says, how, you know, someone was very kind. She said, I've been following you since early on. How do I explain that she knows somebody else in her, in their sixties who claims to be John, the beloved reincarnated. And I, I love the question because in my life I have met four or five Johns people who say they're John reincarnated. I've met several Peters, a few Pauls. I've met almost 25 Mary Magdalene's. I've met two ladies who claim to be the Mother Mary. I've met, I've met a lot of people with, with the claim. Now, I call myself John of New because I am not John of Old. I am not John of Old, I'm John of New, I'm John Davis. I truly do not believe, nor do I believe anyone really knows, what reincarnation is. No one understands what it truly is here and now. Um, is it the fact that a single person reincarnates as a single person? Is it the fact that since we are all part of the one God, are we tapping into a a life that's in the oneness? Are we? Uh, am I the only one who can do it? Are there a million people that can do it? Can everybody do it? I, I don't know. Um, do I believe that? Um, you know, for for all I know, there really could be a, there could be a million Johns, there could be a million Peters, a million Pauls, you know. Phillips, all of them. There could be a million of them. The important part is not who you were. The important part is who you are. It doesn't matter who you were. It only matters who you are. And I, I don't have enough vanity in my life to say that I was this person. I have those memories. I have very clear, distinct memories. But I don't have enough vanity to say that I understand reincarnation. I don't have enough vanity to say that I know exactly what the answer is to this question. Do I think it's possible that your friend is John? Absolutely I do. Do I think it's possible that I'm not? Absolutely I do. Do I think it's possible that we're both just tapping into the consciousness of John? Absolutely I do. Is it possible that the soul of John split? Absolutely, I do think that it could have split. And I actually think, as being part of the one, it every soul is already split. So, I'm, I'm not really vain enough to say that I am solely John the Beloved. Because I'm not John the Beloved, I'm John Davis. I just have memories of that life. I've been told... Um, by one very, very famous psychic that the, the soul of John split into three and that there was, there was two who carried the essence and one that was the physical embodiment. I was told that I was the physical embodiment. Whether she was true or not, I don't know. I don't, I don't put faith in anything that I don't feel in my heart to be true or that I can, that I can prove. And I, no one on earth can prove what re what reincarnation really is they can prove that people have memories but they can't prove that they're the only ones who have memories and they're not just tapping into the the the, the knowledge of the oneness of all so am i am i the reincarnation of john the beloved i don't know am i the am i john davis i absolutely know that do i have memories of that past life i absolutely have memories of that past life. I personally, John Davis, personally, don't care if I was John the Beloved in a past life 
and that's the way the reincarnation is. The only thing that I really care about is the bringing the teaching forward. It is it is not about the vanity of of saying I am John the Beloved because I don't believe that I was that I that I am John the Beloved. I believe I'm John Davis and I have memories from John the Beloved. Whether that means I'm the reincarnation or not, I do not know. But the only thing that's important to me at this time is to bring the teachings forward. In fact, this is the reason why I stopped traveling all over the, the world speaking 10 years ago, 15 years ago. You know, I spoke at the Edgar Casey Foundation in Virginia Beach, Houston, and Portland, Oregon. I spoke in Unity Churches and Metaphysical Centers and all over the country about, about my past life stuff. But the reason I was doing that is because of the fact that I wanted to bring the teachings forward. And then when I realized that they were too invested in who I was in a past life that I don't even know whether I was that person in a past life, I just know that I have those memories, I stopped doing it because to me the teaching what was what was so important. This isn't a fame or vanity mission for me. This really is a, I have been given information that I think would be morally wrong of me not to share. And <laughs> it, as far as could there be multiple people with, with the same memories? Absolutely. I would love to beat them. I would love to share notes. Um, I, I've also seen people who have been regressed, who have memories of John and memories of the life of Jeshua. And I have found that on many occasions, the past life regressions contradict each other. The only thing that, that keeps me going from the perspective of the information is the fact that after my regression, I kept having spontaneous regressions and still still have them to today. Somebody will say something and it will kick in a memory. And not just a thought or a picture in my head, a visceral standing there in the room memory. And when I have that experience, I I bring that information into into the videos. Um, I love this question because it what it really does is it gives me an opportunity to say reincarnation is not important. Only you and your divinity and your 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 present I am God moment is important. Doesn't matter who you were, only matters who you are. And I thank you for listening. And I really thank you for this question because this is a question that I really wanted to address out here in the YouTube land <laughs> for everyone to, to kind of understand the perspective. Um, but there's a lot, there's a lot of people claiming to be apostles in the world. And I'm sure 100% that they're probably having real experiences. Do I know what that is, I have no clue. And I wouldn't dare say that I know something I don't know. So that's my thought on this. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you, my friends, for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure that you've subscribed and you like it, you share it, but also comment below it. Let's get this community talking about these topics and, and spreading this information out far and wide so that we can change the world for the better. Thank you.